Many Cars fans are thrilled for new Cars media and especially when Jay Ward revealed more Cars stuff is about to come in the next years. Hopes for another season of Cars on the Road or even Cars 4 have grown. Today, however, we will speculate about the possibility of a short or series based on Mattel's Global Racers Cup line. Because quite some things about that series, its marketing in particular, have made me suspicious. So at first glance, the DRC is merely more than a typical Disney Cars Expanded Universe line, similar to the Cars 2 themed T-Rock Championships or the Cars 3 based XRS competitions. During its annual investor meeting in March, Mattel advertised the line as followed. The Global Racers Cup will have Lightning McQueen host a racing invitational with racers from around the world. That's very fami familiar from the T-Rock line and suggests there might be a storybook following the Diecast line. A book was indeed released for the Neon Racers for instance, but also recently for the Glow Racers. Yet, the investor presentation further talks about more toy innovations with new storytelling developed with Disney in context of the GRC. While the term toy innovations equals what the presentation in the prior years said about color changers and glow racers, one thing is striking to me. Storytelling with Disney might indeed just allude to a storybook. However, Mattel has never stated anything similar about the glow racers, even though a book was released for that line. We may argue that Mattel would not be involved in Disney's and Pixar's work on Cars media, yet we should also bear in mind that they have never contributed to a Cars-themed book either. In contrast to all sidelines, including the most recent entry of the Glow Racers, the GRC is launched within the mainline. So why has Mattel decided to take a different path than usual? They surely don't like ideas for new releases, as Cars on the Road still offers loads of new characters, while there is still some potential for the movies and the tunes since their recent return. Additionally, we should not neglect the fact that there is an extra racing themed line at stage already with the Glow Racers and this one should not expire until September when it turns one year old. Thus, Mattel could have easily started the GRC in fall as a new sideline. Its decision, however, may suggest there is new media releasing soon. Also because there are lots of similarities between the promotion of the GRC and Cars on the Road as both are part of the main line and have new card arts. Besides, either of them have new variants for Lightning McQueen that debut in large quantities, three in their initial single case release, while Global Racers Lightning is even in a two-pack too. Also, there are some similarities in the composition of the Mini Racers line. In 2022, there were only few new releases before Cars on the Road dropped. In 2024, there is no single new car until the release of the GRC cars. You may have noticed this already, but the box and car designs are altered for the GRC too. So have they been for Cars on the Road. Do you need more evidence? Well, let's take a look at the Global Racers Jumping Raceway playset. In fact, there are some clues on its package that speak against a new short. The back weirdly shows Greebles aside the track. He would certainly not appear in a GRC short. Also, another picture shows Cory Turbowitz. It makes sense as she's a reporter, however, she's most likely featured only because her diecast is released in 2024. GRC media would rather feature Shannon Spokes, who more or less replaced Cory in Cars 3. However, on Entertainment Earth, the playset is labeled as Media Driver. Doesn't this sound as if there was something in the air? It reminds me of some cars on the road playsets that initially had titles like Disney Plus Racing Center set. My final point is on the concern that we should have known about new cars content earlier. We should also not neglect Mattel hit every merchandise for cars on the road in 2022. Only in mid-July the first diecast stuff was allowed to launch, the poster was held back until fall, whereas the 2024 poster has already dropped in February. However, I did some research on the last standalone shot, the Radiator Springs 500 and a half. According to my findings, it was first revealed in March 2014, and its original release date dates back to May of the same year. In fact, that's only two months away from its initial reveal. Hence, if there is a GRC short, it doesn't need to be confirmed already. Despite, as the diecasts are revealed for more than two months now, some pieces of information would be due. To conclude, I'd like to remark why a new short is not unlikely. From September to December 2023, all episodes of Cars on the Road have been released on Disney Junior's YouTube channel and from January to now, the majority of Mater's Tall Tales has dropped too. All of them have high viewing rates and might just prepare something new. Yet, this is just some speculation, so let me know what you think in the comments. I'm eager to discuss it with you. Bye now.